everybody, it's Miss Morton. Today we're going to continue to learn about base 10. But today we're going to practice looking at the numbers that we find based off of our base 10 blocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to count and see how many we have, and then we're going to look at what numbers in the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. And I'll show you what I mean as we get going. So we're going to start out here with our first a simple number. So we have 1 100, 1 10, and 1 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to count those numbers first. So we know that we have 100 because we see our 100 blocks. We're going to down 100. Then we see that we have 10, and we only have one of them, so we know that it represents 10. And then we see a 1, and we know that we only have 1, so it represents 1. So if we wanted to do our addition, we could, or we can count on. So we have 100, 110, 111. So our number right here is 111. So when we look at that, we are going to see that we have a hundreds place, a tens place, and a ones place. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to have three columns, hundreds, tens, and ones. So we knew, we know that when we had our 100, we had one 100. So we, we had 111. I'm just going to put that number up there so we remember. And then when we saw our tens, how many tens did we have? Just one, right? So we had one ten, and we looked at our ones, and we only had one one. So we can use this chart to help us figure out what our number is. So we have one hundred, one ten, and one one, and our number that we get is 111. 111. So we can see it right here. If we take away the columns, we see that our number is 111, because we counted our hundred, tens, and ones to figure out our number. So if we see a number, for example, if we see 232, we can use our hundreds chart to figure out how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones. So I would just divide my number up. I know that these are hundreds, tens, and ones. So I have two hundreds, three tens, and two ones, and my number 232. We'll keep practicing with that as we keep going along. So we're going to practice finding a number and then using our hundreds, tens, and ones chart to figure out what the number is. Okay, so I'm going to practice showing you how to use the HTO or hundred, tens, and ones chart to figure out what number we have. So I'm going to look and I'm going to figure out how many one hundreds do we have. And I see that we only have one, so I'm going to put a one right here. Then I'm going to move on to my tens. And I know that these are my tens, I'm going to figure out how many tens I have which is one, two. And then I'm going to look at how many ones I have. And these are our ones, and we're going to count them. One, two, three, four. So I have four ones. So my number is 124. 124. And I can ask myself, OK, does it match my picture? And I can count and see. 100, 110, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124. So I get the same thing when I count. So I know that my hundreds, tens, and ones chart is helping me. I can also ask myself, okay, what number is in the hundreds place? And my number 124, what number is in the hundreds place? And I can use my chart to help me. I see that there is a one in the one hundreds place. Okay, my next question is, what number is in the tens place? And I look at my tens column and I see that two is in the tens place. And my last question is, what number is in the ones place? And I see that I have a four in the ones place. So I know that there's four ones. Awesome. Okay, we're going to do two together, and then you're going to practice doing some all by yourself. All right, so we're going to do this one together. So we're going to start with our hundreds, tens, and ones chart, and we're going to figure out how many of each we have. So let's start with our hundreds. We always want to start with our biggest number. So how many hundreds do we have? Yep, we have one, so we're going to put a one in the column. Now we're going to move on to our next column, which is what? Yep, T for tens. How many tens do we have? Great, let's go ahead and count and make sure. One, two, three. So we have three tens, so we're going to put a three in this column. And then what do we do next? Great, we want to go to our ones column and figure out how many ones we have. So we look at our ones. We want to count them and figure it out. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six ones. 
All right, so do you know what this number is? What is our whole number, our big number that these blocks represent? Yeah, it's 136. 136. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to answer it out loud. What number is in the hundreds place of 136? Very good. It's 1 because we see a 1 in our hundreds place. All right, and my next question is, what number do you see in the tens place? What number is in the tens place of our number? Great job. We know that this is our tens place, so a 3 is in our tens place. And my last question for you is, what number is in the ones place of 136? Awesome. It's a 6, right? So 6 is in our ones place. And we know that we have 100 and we counted our 10s, 10, 20, 30, and then we counted our 1s, and it's 6. So this represents, the 1 represents the 100, the 3 represents the 30, and the 6 represents the 6. So that's where we get our numbers from. And we can use our 100s, 10s, and 1s chart also to help us. All right, so I'm going to give you one to do by yourself, and then we will go over it together. Okay, so here's one for you to solve by yourself. You can solve it, and then when you're done, you can, you, well, while you're solving, you can pause the video. When you're done, you can um, press play. So we're going to go over it together. Okay, so we want to figure out um, how many hundreds, tens, and ones we have. And we want to figure out our, our whole number, our big number. So the first thing we're going to do is what? Yeah, we're going to look at our hundreds. And how many hundreds do we have? One. So we're going to put a one in the column. Then what do we do next? Yep, we want to count our tens. So how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six. So what number do we put in the tens column? Great, six. And then <clears throat> we have our ones. So we need to count our ones. How many ones do we have? Four. Very good. So we have a four. So what is our number? What is our number that these represent? Yep, it's 164. Because we had 100... We had 60, and then we had 4. So I have some questions for you. What number is in our 100s place? Yep, it's 1. 1 is in our 100s place. What number is in our 10s place? Yep, very good. It's 6. And then what number is in our 1s place? Awesome. It's 4, right? Because we know our 1s place is here, our 10s place is here, and our 100s place is here. Just like our HTO chart over there, I can use that. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to work on two more, um, and then we'll be all done. Okay, so we are going to look at this number right here, and we are going to figure out what number is in the ones place. So, what number is this first before we start? Great, it's 38. The number is 38. And we want to figure out what number is in the ones place. So I'm going to draw a little HTO chart right here. So we remember what how what order they go in. So we know it's hundreds, tens, and ones. So what number is in the ones place um, in the number 38? Great. It's 8. So we see an 8 right here. There are no hundreds. We don't have any hundreds. We only have tens and ones. So we would have zero hundreds three tens, and eight ones. So there are eight ones, so that number is in the ones place. Very good. All right, we're going to do another one. Here's our last one. Practice. All right, so this question says, how many tens are in this number? So what is this number? Great. It's 65, and we want to figure out what number is in the tens place? So we're going to make our HTO chart so we remember hundreds, tens, and ones. Do you see any hundreds in this number? No, so we don't have any. We can put a zero or an X. All right, how many tens are in this number? Yep, this is our tens place, and we have six tens. So there's six tens in this number. So our answer is six. And just to practice, how many ones are in this number? Very good. We have five ones because this is our ones place. So ten place, our ones place. So we have five ones. Awesome job. Thank you so much for watching.